He's blowing a raspberry. And wait a minute. Wait, is that is that red or purple? Yeah, yeah, look at that. Normally there's six colors in a rainbow, but they're missing one because they only have five fingers. So the red one is kind of purple. At least called magenta. Look at all of them, they're so happy. Color of not limes. Lemons! Red. The color of blood. And the color of Republicans. And cherries and strawberries and raspberries. A bunch of other really good food. Orange! My favorite! Orange? I, I guess that's also orange, but I, I was thinking of oranges. Look, there's one that's like a rainbow. Hello, pink. Bubblegum ice cream is actually a mix between strawberry and banana, if you can believe it. So that's grapes. I have hot candy ball flowers. Rainbow. You are a mixed bag. On the thumb. So is, is this just gonna be the same thing? Gummy candy, gummy candy, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? I thought it said Franklin candy. Either Franklin candy or Frankenstein candy, but it said rainbow candy. Can you believe that? Yeah, I can. I'm pretty stupid like that. Are they just the freaking fingers? Fre 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 Freddy Fazbear's. Oh boy. Y you know, like. A finger video here and there is fine, but three finger videos in a row, I mean, come on, man. Ice cream! Okay, this this is getting ridiculous. I, I apologize, I think I accidentally recorded a clip show of a bunch of ice cream. I mean, an ice cream finger video. Okay, that should be the last of the finger videos. There's Ellie, who went to France one time. Well, actually, probably a few times. Well, actually, no, the club shows make... <laughs> Those are the evil rich people who own the house. I swear, it's only rich people who have haunted house. It's never poor people. Which is weird because, like, poor people get evicted from their house because, like, they're poor and they can't pay rent. So if anything, you would think poor people would haunt houses because they would have more of a reason for having revenge, but... No, it, it's always rich people who haunt houses. Well, these ghosts are cool. The Happy Huxtables, that's not what it's called. The Haunted Halfaways, yes. I remember back when there were three shows, there was Sam and Cat, Haunted Halfaways, and Thundermans. For some reason, I stopped watching the Thundermans entirely. Yeah, I think it's just because Sam and Cat ended, so I stopped watching the other ones. I can't believe that show came out ten years ago. We are ghosts, and we are... Look at that one kid's hair dye. He looks like a complete hipster. Ghost camp. I, I think it whispered. It's zombie time. <laughs> For some reason, I'm thinking of zombies just disco dancing. They said red skeletons not too dense. I thought they said red to rent to not uh, not rent to um is something too dead. I hope the yellow juice doesn't pee. I mean, come on, let let's not kid ourselves. Uh, I mean, a bunch of you were probably thinking that. I mean, let's not kid ourselves, most most yellow liquids are pee. I mean, sometimes it's like lemonade, but it's usually pee. They can fly! No, they can't fly, they're in space. I... I... 4th of July, like a few weeks ago. Ooh, are they in Latin America? Oh no, they're not in... I think they're from India! Yeah, because I remember one of the videos I downloaded to review was from Hindi. I don't know what they're saying. You know, in India you get to vote. You can't do that in China. Look at how lame China is. They don't have YouTube in China, but they have India 
I mean, India has YouTube. <laughs> okay, I thought... <laughs> so, like, when I download videos for reviewing, I put, like, Spongebob just as little placeholders. <laughs> You're you're going to deliver all the presents for everyone. Maybe it's just a mall of Santa where you just have to ask kids questions. I don't remember anything about Santa having like a clown nose. I remember he had a beard. I remember he was fat, but that's about it. Another finger family. Daddy finger, daddy finger, where are you? I I think this is the exact same one. Well, this is new, I hope. But, well, maybe it is actually a clip show. Because I'm, I think I'm watching this from like oldest to newest. So yeah, this would actually be the first time. Santa Claus. I think about Santa Claus every month. Most people don't think about it unless it's December. But I, it, it comes up every. <laughs> Now, there's this one story about like these um whatever there was like these anime posters that they would put in the zoo and the and the penguin started mating with the poster yeah it's just like the penguin wanted to like I love you poster of anime characters and whatever and like the penguin got his wife got moved, transported, so she basically had an affair. Oh, penguins. This this is all like grown-up stuff. But penguins are doing it. I, I love that. I was like, it's, it's kind of like how SpongeBob and Patrick are like children. But like they do stuff that only grown-ups do, like have a job. Like, Spongebob and Patrick straight up played with baby toys. So there's... How, how many reindeers are there? I think there's eight and there's Rudolph. Wait, isn't one of the... Isn't one of the... I think one of the reindeers is called Nixon. Is one of Santa's reindeer called Nixon? According to KeetaDL.com, 16.Leroy, Old French Origin, the Redneck Reindeer. 17. Mitzi, German origin, introduced as Rudolph's mother. 18. Nixon, Irish origin, from a 2004 album. Okay, so I guess one of Santa's reindeer is called Nixon. Dasher von Nixon von something, I don't know. Goodbye, Santa. Have good luck for next year, because... I mean, I know you do it every time, but good luck because, oh boy, you're probably getting real cold out there. Here, this video is again. Finger, 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 finger. Ooh. Kids, you should play the video game ukulele. They're like these ghosts that you need to come back. Because they're based on the Jinjos from Banjo-Kazooie, which you should also play. And the ghosts make little... Just cute little noises. I love Banjo Kazooie. Ukulele. The first one's a good game, but it's no Banjo Kazooie. Now, the Impossible Layer is a fantastic game, but it's really. Well, actually, it's only like the last level that's hard. Like, I guess if you're not really good at video games, you could just play the rest of the game and just have like someone who is good at it so just let like your cool uncle who's really good at video games play the last level but you can play the rest of it the live action haunted mansion movie again wasn't the eddie murphy movie enough did i see this no, i'm like 85 percent sure i saw this but i don't remember this one scene Look at them! They're all just happy! Yeah, they're not, like, trying to haunt them. I like that one. I saw this! Okay, so hopefully this one's new. Look at all those little snakes. I, I, I don't know what the first sentence was. 
Halloween. I'm, I only know one person who ever called it Halloween. And he would always make a big deal, like, some people call it Halloween. He's the only person I've ever known who call it Halloween. He's probably retired by now. Halloween down the street. Halloween all over the place. I don't think... Oh, I know they celebrate Day of the Dead, so maybe they don't so for Halloween. I always... I, I thought as a kid those holidays were just the Mexican version of Halloween, but no, it's, it's completely different. I can't believe Disney tried to trademark Day of the Dead. I mean, even... Like, wow, I know you hear about companies bully their way, but, like, trademark a holiday that's been around forever? How did they ever think they were gonna get away with that? Choo, choo, choo. I mean, I like... I like the regular videos, but there's just too many finger saws in this channel. I mean, it's good enough for me to make my review, but... Yeah, I, I don't know. Look! Look, 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 he made, not graffiti, like, the, those things you do, air clouds. I love you, Lorraine, or something like that. Who's Lorraine? Who's Lorraine? Sorry, I can't help with that. Oh, I like the song, in freaking mouse. So apparently, Lorraine is the... <laughs> Part of the northern part of France. Oh, and she, she talks about how she goes to France in another episode. Next time you meet a French person, say, "Oh, I, I know what Lorraine is now." No, I've already seen this video. Let's 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 look up Lorraine. Lorraine of France. Who is Lorraine? Let me make it louder. Explain what Lorene is. Bing, explain it. Explain it to the nice children who want to learn about France. Culture region in France. Come on. Lorraine is a cultural and historical region in northeastern France, now located in the administrative region of Grand State. Its name stems from the medieval kingdom of Lotharingia, which in turn W. Wikipedia. S named after either Emperor Lothair I or King Lothair II. Lorraine later was ruled as the Duchy of Lorraine before the Kingdom of France annexed it in 1766. Wikipedia. I mean, that's weird, because I, I could have... I, I thought Lorraine was just like some a, name... Some name for women, but I guess not. Maybe well, someone will name their kid Lorraine. <laughs> ah, dude, I, I just imagine uh, uh, like imagine you're like four years old watching this now, and then like you have grandkids that you go back and show them this. No, you don't have grandkids. You have your own kids, and it's like, hey, hey, Lorraine. This is why I decided to name you Lorene because I watched this one YouTuber who just talked about this one random city from France in this one video I watched. And that's your name now. Apparently it's pronounced Lorraine, not Lorene. Lorene, Loran. Wait, did it, did it say it's pronounced Loran? Rain. HTTPS colon slash. Not Lorene. And yes, yes, a Lorene is a name. So anyway, my, my spelling is usually god awful, but apparently, so yeah, so L O R R A I N E, Loran. And Lorene is L O R E E N. That is a name. There's a Swedish singer named. <laughs> the country of Sweden! Wow. <laughs> Lorene. Swedish singer and songwriter. Share. All images. Lorene Nebnora Talhaui, known professionally as Lorene, is a Swedish singer and songwriter. Representing Sweden, she has won the Eurovision Song Contest twice, in 2012 and 2023, with the songs Euphoria and Tattoo. She is the second performer and the first and only woman to have won the competition twice to date. 
Wikipedia. <laughs> we're, we're learning about a Swedish singer! How did this happen? Like, how did we go to watching these kids' videos about Halloween to learning about a Swedish singer? Cause you know, you know what I should do? I should put like links in the description to the, to the um. If 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 Lorene the singer is a family-friendly singer, then I'm gonna put links in the description. If you can't find the description, it's probably because you're using a phone and you just can't do that on a phone because you need to use an actual computer. I don't know. I don't know. I'm stupid. You know what else? There, there are these. There's this show in Sweden for little kids called Pee and Poo, and it's it's just about Pee and Poo. Like they're like people in costumes as Pee and Poo, and they just play the characters of Pee and Poo. Ah, uh, Sweden. Y you know they were neutral during the Cold War. Like the Russians and all the USR people, USRR people were like. Capitalism's bad, and the other countries were like, no, capitalism is good, and then you had these other countries that were like, yeah, well, we're, we're, we're not gonna pick sides here. Because originally the term third world country originally meant someone who didn't have an opinion on the Cold War and second... Because, like, if you think about it, it's like, okay, so if you're, like, a really poor country in Africa, you don't care either way because you're, like, so poor you don't have anything going for you. If you're in the second world, you're a communist, and if you're first world, you're not a communist. Because that's, that's what the first, and second, and third world means, but... It doesn't really mean that anymore, it just means, like, if you're in a first world, you're in a good country. If you're in the second world, you're in a medium country. And if you're in a third world, you're in a bad country. I still can't believe that I found a Swedish singer! He's from the word Lorene! Well, I gotta say, I, I'm loving this channel. These songs are so cute. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the ghost camp. Okay, y'all remember that Scooby-Doo short? We're like, oh, Scrappy, Scrappy's in it, and Scrappy, Scrappy doesn't deserve to hate, but that's a different argument. So they go to the ghoul school, where it's like the descendants of horror movie monsters, like Frankenstein and the mommy and the werewolf and all that stuff. And then, what's it called? Monster High just, like, copied it. And then all those characters appeared in an episode of OKKO, OK because that show is just weird like that. OKKO, OK great show. It's on Hulu. It should be on HBO Max, but... Why would you say boo-boo? I thought you were happy. He's gonna whisper ghost camp. Listen very carefully. Did you hear it? Is this a disguise? Yeah, yeah, I've seen this. And since I don't, and since I'm not gonna be able to talk about Swedish singers the second time around, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip to the next part. This channel's great. I'm assuming Ellie is the older kid, but they never say exactly how old they are. Or maybe, maybe they do, but I, I just haven't heard it. Ooh, are they gonna plant stuff? I haven't any, I haven't any... I thought she said... What did I think she said? Well, I don't know what she said. What I thought I said... Okay, let, let me pause it for a second. So bad news, when she said, I haven't any, and I thought she said something else, I I don't remember what the thump, something else that I thought she said. And I said, thumping else instead of something else because I'm really stupid. This song is like so chill. Like, I don't know, because like all these other songs are just repeat nursery rhymes, but this is just... I like this. Maybe it's based on an Indian song. Is this channel based in India? Because there's that one one video that was just all Hindi. Yeah, I mean, like, vegetables get a bad rap because the bad ones are really bad, but, like, the good ones are good. Like, carrots. Carrots are great! I, I wish I had more carrots. I never think to get them, but whenever I have them, I'm like, Why don't I have more carrots? No one else are there. There's pumpkins. Are pumpkins a fruit? 
I, I don't know. Well, I, I have to say, though, like, you should eat carrots and stuff, but I, I don't think carrots have... I, I, honestly, I don't think the food you eat has any effect on whether you're smart or dumb or not. Yeah, because I bet this isn't a song from Hindi, because they have rhymes that you just wouldn't have in a non-English song. Oh, these are peas. I've never had peas inside the original case. I mean, not the original case. Maybe I have, but normally I just have them in a case. Because you know what's weird? Like, I always want to have, like, vegetables as a side dish. It's never just, like, oh, just, like, just have a can of corn and, and that's it. It's like, like, you always want to have, like, vegetables as a side dish. You know, I, I feel like this is channel has become a guilty pleasure that I shouldn't like it as much as I do, but I'm I'm really enjoying this. And I mean particularly. Like at first I thought this would be one of the uh more mediocre YouTube kids channel, but no, I'm just I just been blabbering on about all sorts of stuff. Oh god, I hate this song. Well, okay, and like the other songs, it's like those four kids like get out of the bed and like it, it sucks for them. But they they seem to want, they don't seem to be upset when they get in the car. Oh god, because I'm, I'm just imagining like the big watermelon is gonna come down and squish everybody or something crazy like that. Just spraying some water on. This, this, this plum is a gangster. What a troublemaker. Look at all the farm animals. I, 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 I gotta say, man, I, I just reviewed the Cocoa Bean, and in that one, it was just a very by-the-book video, but this, I, I don't know why I'm liking this one so much. I don't know, because once, because I'm recording it now, so once you go back and edit them, you're gonna feel different, because I remember what was the last one I watched. I, I, I just remember that it began with the letter T, and I was like, these are really good, I should re-watch these, and then I edit them and it was like, eh, maybe I was just in the zone. Because I don't judge whether I'm going to watch the videos based solely on whether I like them or not. It's it's more so based on how much I can talk during the review. For whatever reason, this just has a bunch of me talking. I don't know, I think it's partially just because I think it's so funny that I just talked about some random French city and some random Swedish singer. You're just going to ask a stranger for fruit? Okay, kids, don't don't ask strangers for fruit if you're with a grown-up that you trust, like your parent or your teacher or whatever. Then maybe they can ask for fruit, but don't don't ask for food if you're a kid. I don't know why they would even give them fruits because like they're not getting anything out of it. Is is there, are they like homeless bums just asking people for food? Because even still, like, homeless people don't just ask for food usually, they usually ask for money. Yeah, and it's like, if you're in a third world country where you're not getting food, there, like, aren't people around that you can't ask for money. Ooh, ooh, you know what, you know what, maybe it's like their job, and, like, the people know. These aren't strangers, they're people they know, and they're like, Hey, we're the guys who come collect fruits, and they're like, Oh, okay, you're supposed to do that, so they give them the fruit. Still, I, 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 I wouldn't trust a kid to just go collect fruit without adult supervision. <laughs> Lithuania? I think it's in Southeast Asia. 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 Where is Lithuania? Sorry, I can't help with that. <laughs> you know, a week ago I went to the movie Elemental. And I thought of this one this place that I thought was an Eastern European country, but it was a Canadian Providence. Where's Lithuania? Yeah, 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 Lithuania is an Eastern European country. I thought for a second it might have been the Canadian Providence I was thinking of. I know there's Quebec, I know there's... Oh god, is that the only one I can think of? I mean, I'm an American, I'm not Canadian, so it's not like I have an obligation to know, but I'm just- I, I have to know more than just one. Rhode Island is American state. Uh, British Columbia, that's one. Well, I to be fair, like, half of them are just, like, just places with barely any people there, because they're just snowy places. You know, maybe I should just look up some Lithuania singers. 
<laughs> you know what, kids? Kids, if you're looking this up, just think of a country that, like, you've never heard of. And just look up music from that country, and then you're just gonna be like, well, that's weird. Okay, I don't- I don't know what they're saying, some of the words. Yeah, because I know La Cucaracha. Well, I don't know what La Cucaracha translates to, but I know it, it's just a generic barn thing. Everything is expensive. Yeah, so I guess they are speaking some English. Maybe later I'll look up with them. <laughs> look at that fat cow. He looks like Heifer. Heifer from Rocco's Modern Life. It's on Paramount Plus. La 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 la. Got a single coin. Gotta get that coin! No, it's like, in Galaxy 2, some of the, in, instead of using some words, just have pictures. So I, I think it's the character, the chimp, who just says, gotta get that coin, but they use a picture of the coin, and that just sounds like a slang term that someone would say. I need to go to work for day because I gotta get that coin. Oh, it's a great job, but that, 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 that so, hey, uh, anyway, Jelly Bean, should I look up what La Cucaracha means now? What does La Cucaracha translate to? Sorry, I'm not able to help with- uh, He's showing the types of colors. La Cucaracha English translation, this should be right. I don't think it is a word, I think it's just the name of a song. I gotta say, the older kid, Ellie, like, she's saying, like, 80% of this stuff here. I guess her little sister or whatever isn't- just can't talk very well. Do they ever have water-flavored things? Watered-flavored food. Sorry, I don't know the- No, 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 they have, like, water that's flavored, but not water flavor. Yeah, because I, I- I mean no offense when I say this, but, like, or- the person who's voicing the character doesn't sound like English is their first language. You can say what you will about, like, people, oh, you don't sound like you're speaking English, but it's like, if you... Look, yeah, like, if you're the kind of person who down talks people for not sounding like they're right English, it's like, it's like, if you can only speak one, so you shut up. Oh, so you, you're just supposed to count. Well, that sounds easier when you put it that way. Oh! Oh god, look at that. Yeah, look at that, because it, it's either going to end with 13, 16, 20, or 19, which is quite a bit. You're, like, halfway there through two-thirds of the way there. Harvey? I, I think he, I would assume she said 13, but it, said like she, it sounded like she said Harvey. Oh, you, you could have just jumped to the donut at 19. Yeah, also helps her do an exit. But you know what, it's just nice to get 100%, you know? It's like when you play a video game and you don't get 100%, but you still beat the final boss, and it's like, I don't feel like I really won the game. I I'm in the home stretch of recording, so, like, I recorded a f two hours worth of Cocoa Bean? I believe that's what it's called? And then I've, I've done this for an hour, and I'm really enjoying this. Like, I've just, I've just had a great time reviewing it. Summer coolers? Oh, yeah. Oh, all three of them? Oh, jeez. You know, you really should have a grown-up make those. Lemon? Mango. Everything is color-themed. I, I bet they won't... Wait, I think they already did orange. Oh, no surprise what color the orange is. Grapefruits are weird, though, because, like, they're orange on the outside, but in the inside, they're pink of all colors. Yeah, there's... Mm. Yeah, lots of different types of recycling. What's a recycling? I'm just saying, because I think garbage is just everything goes in one garbage, but like, with recycling you can be more specific. It's like, this is paper, this is cardboard, but if I remember right, garbage is just garbage. I just get... Okay, maybe in like big cities there's plots like that, but when I get the stuff at my house, it's just, you could just get one big recycling bin. You also get a yard waste and a, um, uh, not a yard waste, um, a yard waste and a, hey, recycling. Yard waste, garbage, recycling. The garbage cans are brown sometimes, but sometimes they're gray. I don't know. The recycling is always blue and the yard waste is always green. So it's like, I've seen this, but it had different animation. I gotta say, I like the other animation a lot more. She even, she even splashed it with water. 
Oh no, I must have been too busy, distracted by something, but I don't, I don't remember exactly what happened, because I, I know obviously they all go in there eventually, but like, did the watermelon, like, squish them? Because I don't think he did. I don't remember anything bad happening. Maybe they just all fit comfortably. Yeah, so the, oh, the grape got caught too. Not caught, but he got, or she, or what, whatever gender it is. Uh, yeah, great, she joined the cart. Does it really matter? It's a fruit. <laughs> that sound effect of the kid saying, oh, has been around forever. So they break up the big shapes into littler shapes. Are they, are they soccer balls? I like this song. My in the zone moment is fleeting. Santa Claus! Are those crayons? So, I guess they just sort of reuse songs in other YouTube kids channel. This is literally just the same thing! If I can remember what I said, I just say the same thing over again, but I don't. Santa's back. Santa's big. I, no, 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 I didn't say back, I said sack. There's nothing to do with fingers, but they use the song anyway. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Same thing! No, I think this is new. Look at Ellie and Ellie's little sister who doesn't talk. Penguins! And they're on the South Pole, not the North Pole, but I, I guess they're just here. It's a snowman. Let's name the... Uh, let's name the snowman Jeff. I don't know. The, the snowman just looks like a Jeff to me. I, I don't think all snowmen look alike, but that, that snowman. Look at all the happy penguins. How did you miss the Christmas tree? <laughs> it's like eight feet tall! Or two meters if you don't live in the U.S. Look, it's in the North Pole! Everyone knows that! Christmas time everywhere, everywhere... Not everyone. It only comes once a year, but they sure do make you know that the rest of the month. You know, it's crazy to think if there would have been like six months in the year instead of... Well, we probably have two months worth of Christmas songs instead. I mean, you know, honestly, I kind of wish it was only like a week. Because if it was just one week, like instead of like four... Because you know what, in Hanukkah, and I think Kwan's is six days, whatever, it's seven or six days. But with Christmas, it's only one day, but they just have the songs and stuff throughout the whole month. Look at the horse, he's so cute. I've already seen this one. Young sounds so chill. Like an ASMR channel. Well, this, this video is almost over, so I'm gonna... Are those... Those aren't grapefruits? You know, I bought a grapefruit. I don't think I've ever actually tried grapefruit before. Uh, you know, I just got the plant. I... I wish I would've got two of them. Because we just put it inside this big pot, and there was clearly enough room for two of them. It's midway through, I think it's July 14th of, uh, as I'm recording this, so... Yeah, I like, I don't, I, I, I don't see any of the purple part. I have an ice cream domain to make. I, I'm sure she's volunteering and this isn't child labor. I mean, honestly, this, this... No, if you were a kid, you'd probably think this was cool. you want to do this. It's just think factories are neat. Like in Mr. Rogers, they would often have segments where they would show, like, how things are made through the factory. Oh, this is kind of slow. Strawberry and chocolate. <laughs> is she driving? Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming this is imagination, because obviously kids shouldn't drive. So her name is Eva. Chicks. Uh-oh. That's mean. Come on, you guys. You just laugh at him when he falls. He looks so sad, too. Wait, what does that red button do? Look what you did. Mm, hooray. It's red instead of yellow. He's gonna step on the gum. Uh-oh. Big red is stuck on the gum. That's cheating. Oh, no, 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 no. Look at that karma. He spun his way to the finish line. I feel bad for Bluebird because he's like... Even though he didn't cheat, he still got in third place. Or maybe it's one of those games where it doesn't matter who's in last... I, I mean, it doesn't matter whether you're in second or third, as long as you're not first, you lose. 
Strawberries? Yes, strawberries. I was gonna say my favorite, but my favorite are raspberries. And they didn't have raspberries because raspberries are so much smaller than strawberries. They grow on big bushes too. Like strawberry plants are pretty small compared to raspberry bushes. I guess I can talk about my neighbor. So anyway, my neighbor has strawberries. It, it's it's on the same block, but it's quite a while. It's, I don't know, like a few dozen houses away. So I didn't notice that. And they were like, oh, well, we, well, we have like extended family who like has raspberry plants. So like maybe next fall we can get you some. And it was like, oh, those guys. Mr. Flippy, the anthropomorphic turtle. I mean, I'm sure turtles eat fruits. Mr. Oscar. <laughs> I love this episode. It's so cute. It's, 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 it's just them collecting their fruits, but it's just cute little animals. Ultimate juice? It's the bull. Mr. Big Bull. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Big Bull. It said, it said, it said thank you. you. Bye -bye. I'm very sure he said thank you. Big old watermelons. No, no. You, so I guess there are grown-ups. There's just these two kids and all the animals. It's a cow. Mr. Mooey. Wait, wait. It's strawberry. Well, it said Mr., but it had eyelashes. It's a girl. I think it's a cow. Girl cows. I mean, boy cows are called bulls. I don't. I know. I don't know. Here's the strawberry farm. Oh no, what did she say? Hello, Mr. Back. How do you do? She said it's her favorite flavored ice cream. How do you do? You know, I'm so used to hearing them saying how do you do in terms of finger family song. God, and I thought this channel was gonna be lame because it's just a bunch of finger families in a row, but like no, this 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 ended up being one of my favorites. Too bad they don't make too many videos though. Like I keep track of like what I do is I record for every three hours worth of video. And it took the like year to make three hours worth of it. Not, not including the clip shows. Now the monkeys. For a second I, I thought it was broke his head. Still pretty extreme. The, the mothers in this are always so terrible because they just have the kids get hurt five times in a row and they never learn their lesson. Yeah. You, you're not gonna do anything about it though, lady. You're just gonna let the, all, all the other monkeys get bumped on the head. Kind of look on your head. Wait, is this all happening in the same day? Cause look, she was eating her sandwich. I mean, she was eating up her sandwich using electricity of all things. Not like electricity in my grave, just like... Oh, what is the, the hot wire? Like when Stitch hot wires. <laughs> Look at that, they didn't get the rabbit at all. But anyway, they're eating the same sand, the chicken's eating the same sandwich. They finally learned their lesson. I think she said put those monkeys back on the bed. Dancing balls on Dancing balls on Boppet. Isn't Boppet like that game where it's like twist it? Bop it. Shake it. Turn it or whatever. For a few years, they made fire trucks yellow because they're easier to see in, diff in the distance. But they changed it to red, and I don't know why they kept it. I mean, red differently symbolizes danger a lot more than yellow does. They sound like dogs. I mean, actually, they kind of sound like hyenas. Hyenas are not canine, but they're... Carnarvon, or whatever it's called. What is it just gonna be orange fruit? Maybe it's an orange t shirt. Mm -hmm. I've never seen an orange plane before. You know what's weird? On the Wikipedia page for the Pokemon franchise, it lists all the ways it's profitable. One of them is jets, it's only like 3 million, and the others are like billions of dollars through merchandise and games and then there's just three million in jets which i mean to you or me three million dollars is a lot of money but not compared to billions of dollars god do you kids even know what billion means because you know
God, I bet to you it's just like some arbitrary number that means big. Like, you know it's bigger than a million, and a million is a bunch, but I, like, you don't, you said it's like, it's a thousand millions. All you know is that it's a big number. She talk. Strawberry. I'll yeah, teach their own. Well, the narrator seems to think he made them right. Well, I don't like regular tea, so I don't think I'd like bubble tea very much. And I don't like soda, so I, I, I basically the only thing I like are orange juice and apple juice. Other than that, it's just cold water. Like the bubbles. Come on. Oh, they didn't get all of them. So the bubbles come first, and then the tea part comes second. I don't want to try bubble tea. Look at all the ice. All right, now are they gonna stir it all up? No, it's, it's just a straw. It's panda. Here you go. I thought you said stay hold. What would you like to have? Yeah. I like I like this guy. You like strawberries. I, I think one of them said honey. Whatever, I wouldn't want to have any ice. Look at them go. Well, it's more entertaining than watching the microwave. I made some popcorn for recording. I just had to watch the microwave wait until the pops were really slow. I would like to make my own bubble tea too. Yeah, this chat, that, that, that kid has a really strong Indian accent. They're all great choices. I, I swear the third time around it went, it went faster. Bunny, 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 bunny. He sounded like he said Hank. He said Hank. I want to try bubble tea now. Well, you didn't really do anything. We just sort of watched you. Oh. Favorite holiday. There's no fun in Christmas. It's just under the tree. But Easter, you really have to work for it. Look at all those... Sh well, they're not shiny, but look at all those colors. A dancing machine? Is this the machine that dances? Oh. Uh. Oh, well, this is weird. Oh! It, it does make them dance! Well, this is a weird invention. It's a cow. I mean, that that's the best idea I can think of. I mean, if one of them is a letter, it seems plausible that the rest of them are letters. And if you get all of them, it will spell out something. Sorry that the letters are backwards. No, 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 no. They have, they already have E. They already have a vowel. Magic snort. <laughs> the bee cracked the shell. I think it says Easter? I don't know. Why, why am I even, I'm, I'm horrible at Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Like, honestly, I bet a toddler would just be, would be as good as Wheel of Fortune as I am. I am just, I, I, like, I, I cannot exaggerate because it's, it's just that awful. Just whatever you think is the most exaggeratedly bad at Wheel of Fortune, that's how bad I am. Like, blind, uh, there is a blind person who beat Ocarina of Time, The Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time on the Nintendo 64. But there is not a world where I could win a Wheel of Fortune. <sighs> so the big rainbow one goes last. Did you see it? It jumped on top of the rainbow one. They look like the... You know the, sp the background in Spongebob? They just have those weird little leaves things in the sky. It says Happy Easter! Is that the letter P? I didn't think it was the letter P. Letter P just came up in my head. Maybe it actually is P. 
It's an X. It's definitely not an X. Yes, we were right. This is letter S. And it will help me complete the happy Easter spelling. You know, S and X actually kind of sound similar, though. Bye-bye. See you next year. Ooh, look at this. We're in the middle of the jungle. But, but. Is, can that go into space? We can just fly. Oh, no, maybe it is going into this, but it's going to the clouds. Desperate. <laughs> okay, what comes after L? P. What is letter P come? P for pizza. P for pumpkin and pie. And Pac-Man. And Philadelphia. And Philippines. What comes after Q? No, R, R. R for red. And Republican. No. <laughs> no, I missed the R's entirely. Was there still Z. Z for zebra. Z for zebra. I got that one. L and middle P. Why am I so bad at this? Oh, God. Wow. And, and here I am talking about, like, I'm in the zone today. Like, I'm just making so many videos. And I just, I just do all the plea on the... The alphabet of all things! You know, this is this, this has been one of my favorite videos. And you know, honestly, it probably is more of a matter of me just having a really good time recording than it is the quality of this. Because, like, the quality of the video doesn't necessarily equal the quality of me reviewing it. So, the next time around, I probably won't enjoy it as much and make as much, say, goofy stuff as I do this time. But I hope I do. Ooh. Yeah, because when I was downloading then this one stuck out because they're in France now. Maybe they can go to Laurent. That means hello. French bread? Hot chocolate is more popular than French bread? Did he say so? The Eiffel Tower? Everyone's been there. I've never been there, but everyone goes there. If you go to Paris, you go to the Eiffel Tower. Ooh, are they going to the fair? There's a Ferris wheel. There's the life thingy. Looks kind of like a hot dog. They say Mr. Mr. E. Kronk, let's call him. Bye, everybody. This video's almost over. I I still think it's really funny just how bad I was on that alphabet. <laughs> alphabet! Like the alphabet bit. It's like a comedy bit. As in alphabet. Because alpha means first, so it's a bit of first. Just some first. So I guess an alphabet could be just like par pa partially first. It's like, well, sometimes it's first, sometimes it's last. It's alpha a bit. Just, just enough. Just enough. It's like 40% of the time it's alpha. Just, just enough to be alpha a bit. Oh, that looks really good. I know what it was, but that food coloring made it look way tastier. What's about these guys are making ice creams and, like, tea and stuff? Yeah, I don't like melons. They're making lemonade. I don't know what it is about the texture, but it looks really tasty. I think I just think bright colors taste better. Yeah, I don't know. Like, the red one doesn't look as tasty. They used a completely different machine than they did for the lemon thing. Even though they're cooked more or less the same. Eh. It's probably because of my orange bias, but I don't know. It, it doesn't look as good as the blue and yellow one. Looks better than the red one, though. But, but wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I was, I was thinking, like, there's only four of them. So are they all just going to become the same color, or are you going to have, like, stripes? When it was red and blue, I was thinking they were going to have the red, blue, and white, because those are the French colors, but no. So, I guess it is going to be all separate. <laughs> it sounded like I was making a gross noise, like I was like, <coughs> coughing, but no, I, I actually think that looks really good. I don't like sprinkles, though. 
They got so much money you can barely even taste them. You know, I don't like the lemon, but I think I'd still have the rainbow because they all look good. Sometimes I like lemon flavored things. That's usually my least favorite though. The one I like to least. Oh, you know what I hate? I hate chocolate Tootsie Roll Pops. Those are awful. 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 This isn't friend or fool. Oh, this has been a, a, one, a wonderful setting from talking about towns of France to actually talking about France to talking about some random Swedish singer who sounds like the name of a location, whatever the French equivalent of a state or a Providences, and then I failed miserably at the alphabet of all things. Big of the rain. Hello, chicken. Look at the chicken's necklace. I, I'm not sure, but I, I swear this is stereotype of like big fat Italians who live in New York and have these giant golden necklaces. Or maybe, maybe my mind is just playing tricks on me. But she does a lot. I used to think the letter N became before the letter M. I already saw this one. Did I see it? It's a bus. Oh, I remember there was one. Was it actually the Cyber Chase the show? But it was like a clip from the game? The, the, the website that they had? And it was like, there's five shapes, and it's like, no, there's clearly four squares, but the fifth square was all four of them combined into one big square, and I was like, what? Come on! And I actually sided with Hacker for once. I don't even think he was doing anything evil, you know, I think he was just, like, on a game show or something. Though he'd probably use the money he'd buy to do something bad, he's, he's not a good person. Watch Cyber Chase on the PBS Kids app. It's a Canadian show. The chicken's a life... Lifeguard, a life walk. No, just the, the walk... The street walk thing. And there was also a cloud. Look at the white birds and the ceiling. I mean, top. This guy, it's a triangle. Are they just gonna steal signs? They're just stealing these people's signs! They're gonna have to use taxpayer dollars to replace the signs. Are they just gonna steal the sun? <laughs> no, isn't that despicable meme where they steal the moon? Oh, well, I guess that's better than the earth getting really hot and everyone burning to death. No hexagons or pentagons or octagons. Yeah, I don't know what you... It's just, it's just, you know, once you get past four sides, it just feels weird. Oh yeah, this was the first I downloaded, so it's it's actually the first, <laughs> the last in this. This is the newest one they made. See, you know what, when they say farmer, she's actually planting stuff. Because there is a misconception. You see, if you have animals but no plants, you don't own, you don't have a farm, you have a ranch. But people just call it farms for some reason. Well, the dog's really cute, but I mean, of course he is. Dogs are usually cute. So I've talked about Italy, I've talked about Paris, I've talked about Sweden, and Lithuania. Italy, France, Lithuania. Oh, I also talked about Canadian Providence.